Ladies and gentlemen, this amateur 74 kilogram catch weight bout will be contested over three three minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he represents the Aspire Combat Sports Academy and is making his in cage debut. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jack Perry! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he represents the Forge MMA and has a record of 1-0. and oh. Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cage, Jake Williams! Our referee is Mr. Paul Crossley. Out number two here at UKFC 22, Jack Perry of Aspire, fighting out of the blue corner in the grey shorts. Jake Williams out of Forge MMA, red corner, red shorts. Both these guys fighting uh, 74 kilo catch weight, but they look big to me at this weight, Steve. Yeah, they're standing in the cage with them. They both look massive. Again, Jack Perry making his debut. Jake Williams already tasted victory once in the cage. Yeah, Williams looks uh, more aggressive to start, start putting his combinations together already, hands and feet. A nice long counter right there from Perry. Oh, but look, as I say, he's still seam seamlessly putting his punches and kicks together, forces that shot from Perry. Perry driving him into the cage now, right in his, right in the Aspire corner. So a successful takedown here, and he'd be able to be coached through the positions, but Perry doing well. Yeah, Williams done well there to get his, his uh, back off the fence. And he's driving, good head position. Nice strong underhook on that right side. Swapping some knees, drops for the legs. Oh, he's gonna get those hands clasped, is he? Not quite, but yeah, just but enough to, behind the hips to pull him out. Good posting, though, from Perry there. Refusing to give up the position without a fight. Yeah, Perry doing a good job there. Posting, getting back up. It's much harder to, uh, to get back up when somebody's got you down and controlled than when you're midway through the position, so. Good bit of tenacity for him there to get back up to his feet. What is... Oh, just steps around and drags him down. Lovely into side control. Yeah, turns him with his underhook there nicely and gets him over that standing leg. No prizes for guessing what I'd quite like to see. <laughs> you see uh, what uh, Williams has got is he's got uh, Perry really loaded up on his but knees there, so might be... It's like a reverse arm triangle from this position. Actually, north south. That's, a, that's a lovely yeah. reversal. Muscles his way out of that one, gets back on top. Got a little bit of time to work in top position, but Jack Perry not gonna, again, neither capitulate in, in the bottom position, both working. Lovely little but butterflies there pushing him away. Yeah, it looked like Perry might get the pass there, but good guy retention from Williams. Back up on the feet, starting to string those shots together again. Yeah, very, looks very composed, light on his feet. Does Williams at the moment. Yeah, Perry swinging heavy in reply. Some good right hands down the pipe off the back of that low kick. Body clinch again. He's got that bag tripped. Yeah, he got the, uh, oh, got the hip throw, but in the scramble, Williams straight out to the back. And, and he looks like he's got the rear naked choke. 10 seconds left. He's got a little bit of time. Can he see it out? That feels like a long time when you're in there. It does. Oh, he, oh, he just it let it go and started the punch. What a strong way to finish the round, though, for the Forge man, Jake Williams. Finishes top position. Yeah, Perry looking a little bit disheveled going back to his corner at that point. You know, but there's, uh, unfortunately for Williams, wasn't longer left at the end of that round. He was on the neck. I think if he'd not had that 10 second clapper, he would have stayed on the choke. Probably realized he didn't have the time to finish it, but strong finish to his round. Absolutely put a stamp on it. Let go of the choke. Landed a couple of shots on the, on the buzzer. What are they telling Jack Perry over there in the blue corner? Well, you know, I think um, Perry has had some success on the fence, he's looked quite strong, but taken down, I, I, I am liking his counters, if he's staying in the striking range, you know, maybe wait for the low kicks to come in, fire off with that right hand, that's been working for him, but yeah, it's, um, it's been tough, they've, they've been 
it's been a, uh, you know, back and forth in all the ranges so far. I don't think Perry's uh, been blown out of the water anywhere. No, absolutely not. Nice working behind that jab. And again, popping the right out. Nice straight shots from him there. Needs to be careful keeping it chin up oh. in the air. Nice Williams opening up. Still coming forward though was Perry, but Williams drives him across the cage into the fencing. Yeah, maybe you know he enjoyed the feeling of that, you know, getting to the back in that scramble at the end there, because uh, Williams was it was lighting Perry up there, looking really confident in the stand up and, and then shot for his double. I was surprised when he shot for that, but Obviously feels strong enough in the clean set changes. Looks for the hip throw. Oh. Underneath, not enough on it. No, threw himself in the guard. Yeah, and on top and inside the guard now is Perrett. And he's done a good job of has Williams of getting distance, of keeping distance between Might himself be in that and guillotine there. Ah, he's managed to pass the guard. He, he still can be a danger at that side, uh, at the other side, sorry, but he's passed to the right side. Head's not going to be in any danger anymore. He's got to be careful of uh, letting him re uh, re get that right knee back in and then trying oh, to retain his guard. Yeah, he tried to step over, but Perry caught the leg. Chipping away at the body now is Williams. Yeah, nice work for him there. He's going to try and shove that leg to slide the knee through and pass, but in this position against the fence, being in the half guard's not a bad place to be. He could work from there, trap the arm, ground and pound and work some posture. Half guard's good from there because it means the guy in the bottom's going to struggle to use his uh, bottom leg to get back up again. Uh, it's good enough for Randy Couture. It's good enough for me. And that, Absolutely. Uh, locked down there a bit. Looking to try and secure the choke again onto the back yeah both from, hooks in from that three-quarter mount straight to the back as perry turned over and now he's got a lot more time to work from his back ah, but is he a little high now is williams a little high does he he's gonna have to readjust i think yeah perry doing the right thing there trying to try put him off if you can grab williams's head and pull him underneath him he can get on top from this position it's that left hook hooked in for williams that's keeping him on there and perry good job shaking his man off and gets busy with the shots. Well, the corner asked him to hit him in the face, and that's indeed what he did. Yeah, I think he knows he hasn't really got the time to waste. Been a good round for the Aspire man at the moment. Yeah, well, he's managed to work his way back to a full guard position. 10 seconds left. Nice right hand on that break. Looking to, trying to, looking to try and finish the round on a takedown, but Perry staying strong. And I, you know, all to play for, you'd think, in the third round. Yeah, I mean, strong finish to Williams for the first round. And, uh, you know, he started well with striking in the second round. Managed to get to the back as well. You know, did some good work, but Perry showed he's still in it, and uh, there's definitely no quitting him. I think Williams could be two up there, though, from my perspective. Fair enough. Maybe, yeah, uh, you know, might have been just a little bit too little, too late there for Perry, but it was a close second round, I think. But yeah, neither guy, you know, out of this fight, both guys in every range showing they've got skills. They've both reversed, they've both landed big shots. So, yeah, I mean, it could be any which way at this point. Right, again, wiser heads than mine will have to make that decision. We've got three minutes to left to separate these two fighters. Jack Perry again fighting out of the blue corner representing Aspire and Jake Williams the forge man in the red corner wearing the red shorts. That's two fights in a row they've got the wardrobe notice. We appreciate that. Yeah I'm down for that. Makes it easier. Three minutes left. Williams started round two really strongly striking landing big combinations and there he starts to land them again. Well, I see him keep his composure and maybe stay standing a little bit. He's landing the biggest shots. He's that right hand uh, counter from Perry that finds a home, but looks like Williams has uh, a little bit of a wider right in his locker. Solid yeah. jab though from Perry, having said that. Perry's still coming forward. Oh, and a heavy low kick. Yeah, well, nice to see him mixing time. it up. Tries the knee up the middle to the body now on the, on the body lock. 
And William just almost sort of accepted that position against the fence there. Another knee up to the midsection of Jake Williams by Perry. And now Williams yeah. got those hands clasped underneath the hips. And again, it goes to pass the side control there, but not always the best thing to do when you, uh, you lose that control over your opponent's hips, pass it to side straight away. Got to be careful, he's got it trapped in like a head scissors. This is like WWE, I'm expecting him to come around, do the handstand and... No, good scramble. Yeah, I think he used just uh, the threat of it to be able to work his way back up there. Did pair it. Ooh. If uh, Williams wants to evade the guillotine here, if he does get that lift, He'll have to go to Perry's left side where the guillotine's on the right. But he's this, pulled his way into the guard and into that guillotine now. This is not a great position for Williams. Arm in for Perry. Harder to finish with the arm in, right? It can be, but I mean, you get some guys who, who really like that arm in position. It also eliminates some of uh, Williams' escapes, you know, get his arm over the top. But you see Williams really working on that left grip. It might be, looks tight though. That does look tight. It's just a different mechanism to finish with an arm in and an uh, arm out guillotine. That's a lot of time spent with that grip. Yeah. And now Williams in top position. Yeah, if he gets, if he gets busy here, we've got to watch the arm by the triangle as well. Perry throwing up off the bottom. So he listened to his corner, got his uh, got his posture back and managed to get his way out of it. Just Williams, Still smart work. Again, oh, Perry, no quit. Scramble. Yeah, no quit at all in Perry. It was a lovely scramble, ending up top position, <laughs> chipping away. And I think Williams getting tired and uh, fading a little bit at this point. Has accepted that, whereas maybe in the first round he wouldn't have done big shots. On to the back now. Oh, under the seconds left. And there he's got it a choke is. Under the neck. Not long left in this fight. Can he see it out? He only has to see the bell. Conscious. And I think he's going to hold on. He's held on. Yeah, he's just made the bell. Just made the bell. That was tight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our judges put to the task for the first time this evening. And what a great fight. Absolutely. And Jake Perry from beating that kind of spot late in the round himself, almost getting choked out, then slaps one on his opponent right at the end. Great back and forth fight, that one. Absolutely, let's go and make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, first things first, please give it up to both of these young fighters, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we go to a dis judge's decision. Your winner, by split decision, fighting out of the red corner, Jake Williams! Please give a round of applause to both fighters. Sorry. 